All right. It's round two. Round two. Oh, I love our deck. Ryan and Mike. Uh, Mike and Ryan. I actually prefer Mike and Ryan. Do you uh, like Mike and Ike? Uh, Mike and Ryan. Hello and good luck. And oh, yes. Hello, Advent. I think we'll... Three, four drop? Yeah, we're not... Uh, five drop on turn four. Hey. Hey. Fry's box. Uh, no, we're not going to... Um, I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you the beating that you're in for. Uh, Why you are confident. <laughs> I live in fear of trying... Um, we have a weak scary word. O-M-F-G-G-G-G. Uh, most of five. Uh, oh, sorry. Do we like, do you like, respond yeah, to that? One. No, it's, our, it's the first. Oh, see, we were getting cut blue like crazy. Uh, do we lead with... Oh, get up again. Duh. Uh, so Why is there a question? Yeah, shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lame. That's a bummer. This really sucks. Honestly, we don't have a whole lot right now. Uh, I mean, green or white? Green. It doesn't, doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's six. I guess maybe white... No, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. matter at all. Oh, this, well... Our opponent is just I'm so sorry. screwed. I'm sorry, opponent. Lamo. Do we... Bums. Yeah. I was going to say, do we even show me? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we have to actually play a card at some point. Yeah, we have to win. win the game. Yeah, but Advent, right away, while he's screwed, is just going to destroy. Yeah. Double, Double mole, and still mole, and and I play 18, so like... Yeah, bummer. Yeah. Oops. Can I spell? Yeah. Bummer. Bummer. So See? Oh man, Ortega and I, we were, uh, Ortega and I, we were one day, uh, playing in some guy. Oh, oh yeah! Let's no. play that first! Oh yeah. It'll okay. attack for more. Croc first. Yeah. Sixth. Oh yeah, okay, sixth. Uh, do we play the advent turn four? I think we do, just to, I mean... Maybe not. We don't have a lot of pressure. Do we main side. phase it so that the Croconera attacks for two? Maybe just do do has. I mean, Advent of the Worm is a sweet trick, and we're gonna get there anyway. You know, what? let's not play it. I know it's kind of annoying because you don't want to like slow roll someone. Um, no, I totally do. But for this one, as an instant, I forget it's an instant. It's that yeah. much more powerful to just like eat some crazy dude. Yep. You can combat the clear attackers. I mean. And soon enough, we're going to have this Corsair's Accord to close this out. Yeah. My mm -hmm. only thing is I'm worried about, like, what if he does pull out of this, even though he's, like, so screwed at this point? Like, and then we're like, why didn't we play the Advent? Steam. He's a Steam He's going to have to take two if he wants to be anywhere yeah. near. Ooh. Yeah. He might even have a two drop. I mean, in that, this that's format. That's true. Yeah, I mean, we're One, playing two, three, four, five. Do we Do we Advent here to evolve Krakener and just attack with both? Or do we just wait for I say no. I say we just wait. We're that far ahead. I don't know, debate that with me in the comments, gang. I don't know about, uh, just because Evan is such a strong instant surprise, and we're still putting three pressure on our opponent each turn, and then next turn we're gonna have the, you the know, centaurs, the centaurs accord. herald, or centaurs accord, to the centaurs get, herald times two minus the times two minus. <laughs> So we're good. Our opponent's got lands, but we've, we're tapping yeah. whatever creature is there. Just gonna see what else is there. Sure. Well, we're not going to tap it right away, but we can still attack into it with both of our guys. So oh. I still, Center's Accord is fine. I mean, we just want to power out a bunch of dudes. But we just, you know, prevent one damage. Yeah. In that case, it evolves our Croc yeah. too. Um, okay, evolve and populate. It doesn't double. It won't double. It'll yeah. Check the state again. Yeah. Ooh, look at you being all fancy. You taught me it. <laughs> Uh, do we attack with the hosta as well? Yeah, why not? We don't need a block with it. Oh yeah, you're right. It's a free um, attack. Yeah. Yeah, sure. There's nothing to cancel. I got to note that. Yeah, that that's what comes up next. Yeah. Because they move cancel and okay, yeah. it moves around in wrong yeah. places. <laughs> and we have V2 Gazi. Like what? Yeah, that's a beating. Yeah. Especially because we can play it and populate it next turn. Yeah. Oh, four drop. Tougher barrier. Okay. That saves a little bit of life, but not. I mean, not much. We still go ahead. And we tap us. Tap her down. And we're gonna tap a bunch. Yep. All right, I'm gonna take a break. Yeah, can uh, I sure. Do do we worry about our opponent drawing cards? No. No. Okay. We put out a two this turn. All right, and I'm definitely. I clicked OK this time, and our opponent concedes. 
We draw scan climb rampager crisis incubation. Yep. So into the sideboarding, we don't know essentially. I mean, our opponents is it? So is it? Is it? <laughs> oh man, Ryan's probably gonna kill me for making that joke. I know he's kind of with an earshot and he's shaking his head right now. Um, but is there anything that we want to cut? Do we know is our opponent aggressive? Is it? It doesn't look like necessarily. Like we've got hover barrier, so our opponent's not aggressive. But we also don't know what our opponent's playing. I think. Ryan, how do you feel about this? Uh, keeping our, our deck composition the same. Like, we've got Hover Barrier uh, as a flyer with Defender. We could Aero Predation it, but do, do you think anything is going to... Do you think that matters? I don't know what you're talking about. We saw a Hover Barrier. Our opponent conceded once I attacked yeah. 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 uh, it. Hover Barrier was the only thing we saw. Like, is, is there any reason to change deck composition? I don't think so. I mean, our deck does what it does well. Uh, on the initial build. Um, yeah, we do have Aerial Predation, which helps get rid of some flies, and we're thinking it's probably going to be going down. But until our opponent sees that, I don't want to pull out a card. Yep. Unless there was something that we thought was super weak in our deck. No. Nope. And I don't think we do. Not not as of now. Hover Barrier is flying, right? Oh, yeah, Hover Barrier is flying Defender. I mean, that does kind of help uh, you know, gum up everything that we have going on. And it does make me think that our opponent is going to be playing more flyers with the Stellar Secrets and some blue. Maybe. But um, we already have some flying hate. I mean, we have Croconer, two Sunspire Griffins, or Steeple Rock. Like, we don't need Aero Predation. Are we getting slightly more aggressive? Like, do we cut a Smite for, like, a Court Street Denizen, maybe get some of that tap action going? No. No. <laughs> I'm greedy. I like a deck. <laughs> yeah, no, so do I. It's awesome. All right. So far, it's been awesome. It, it just hoes our other opponent, and then we got you know the other opponent was mana screwed. So we'll see what we'll see what higher level here. deck can do. Uh, green yes, green? yes, green. this green. is great. Do yeah, green side two. Yeah, on turn two. Uh, oh, good job. Kept the seven. That's fine. We don't want to mulligan though. Good. No, a little match here. Exactly. Now the question is, Drudge Beetle or Guildgate to power out our uh, our Drudge two or green side draw. I start with Drudge Beetle because I'd rather trade that off with the two drop. Um, and if we don't draw three quickly, we actually now really want our green side watcher. F6. So our judge beetle, we want to drop first because we want to be attacking and yes. possibly trading. Okay. Whereas green side, we don't want to risk it, so we may end up play it and then not do anything. I hear, I hear that you have to risk it to get the biscuit though. That's that's what <laughs> you I've risk heard. it more than I do. Um, I mean, there's an argument to play that. No, I like here, so we have a turn. I have, forward, plus, but... I have a feeling that we might be better served being slightly more aggressive in this yeah. matchup, just because I just by the looks of it, like. Yeah. Hover Bear, our opponent's going to be a four drop. Drop. And we have way more three drops than fours, but we'll see. That's true. If we draw a four drop, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, yeah, gutter slam. We're attacking into yeah, this. Yeah. We should be attacking into the guy. Yeah, that's true. We don't mind it. <laughs> there yeah. we go, right? Yeah, we if we have green side watcher, we could have had scan club charger up. But whatever. Uh, um, we just attack here. Yeah, we just attack. Declaration. Does it, is it spell? No, just to an opponent. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then white. Right? Yeah. Because we don't need the blue. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need this blue. showing that. Uh, do we play the green side watcher? Yeah, we want to use our mana for sure. The main thing was just want to be able to attack. Yeah. He doesn't know how awesome our green oh, side yeah, watcher is. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Yeah. We can get Steeple oh, Rock my next gosh. turn. Yeah, Steeple Rock next turn. Oh, that's sweet. Steeple Rock, a uh, turn four Steeple Rock is just yeah, super three good. power in the air on turn four is good, regardless. Plus, it's having first strike ability. I like Trickery gets us something very yeah. could have. I haven't seen that main board in anyone's deck yet, um, but I feel like there's a far where they could totally blow people out. But I think it is much more of a cyber. What creatures did we show him? We didn't show our one toughness though last game. No, not at all. So what did we show? A bunch of three threes. Yeah, right. That's all. Yeah, we had a crocker in there. Hidden strings. Uh, I'm not over. worried. What does it do? Oh, never mind. I thought that was the uh, the enchantment that we're it realm right. Tapped it, I know where it taps it down and you can't do it. But yeah. So you're just tapping and untapping a bunch? Uh, you may tap and untap. You may cipher. Okay, sure. Well, that does four damage to us. How does gutter snipe? Oh, because of the cipher, huh? That's, that's a, pretty cool. That's a pain. Okay, sure. But then Six just, damage, actually. Yeah, so that's definitely a hit to pay attention to. Do we keep to. Drudge Beetle back then to prevent that kind of cipher shenanigans? Well, we're going to have... Um, oh, no, because we're going to have Steeple Rock. Rock yeah. That's the reason why Hidden String sucks, is like it does a one-turn awesomeness, and after that, you're like, all right, uh, you did nothing. Yeah, that's true. Oh, because I was going to say Steeple... Um, I was going to say, oh, this will just hit the Steeple Rock, but yeah. it doesn't. It only hits opponents. That would be pretty nasty if it hit creatures yeah. also. It'd probably be uncommon at that point. It is uncommon. Dang, I thought it was a common. Yeah. 
then yeah, never mind. And now our opponent can play a four drop too. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But that's it. It was just pretty. Well, cool. that's the thing. It's definitely. I mean, look that that definitely swung the race. Skull crack. That wow. This is what we're doing swung here. Okay. I mean, look at our opponent just did like nine damage to us right away, but we're just ahead. I mean. Yeah, I, I think instead we just Steeple Rock with, is just better. Well, I don't know. If there's a removal spell, then we take two, and we take four next turn, we're down to five. No, um, no, if there's a removal spell, we take two from the removal, four, five, six. Because true, the cipher three. triggers. But at the same time, I like progressing the board out. Uh, Scab Clan? Uh, attack with both and then Scab Clan? Or attack with uh, just Drudge Beetle and Steeple Rock? Steeple Rock seems right. Okay. I, you know, there's the argument to attack with both and play Crisis Incubation on the Gutter Snipe. Um, but or just I just the two four. I say we just uh, do Steeple Rock. Okay. Attack for two. Do Steeple Rock. Make him show us he has more answers or you know more uh, pressure on us. Yeah. And uh, sounds good to me. Yeah. Me I mean, you could definitely have a rule as well. He's in red. You know, you can have it. A whole bunch of different things, but I think that this is really annoying the way you got to go through. Yeah, it. it's way easier in real life for you to say, "Hey, I'm doing." This. I'm tough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tough as for white. But I think this works, and we I'm do have a sure. turn to get there. And again, this is you know, this isn't. A I mean, we draw a land. We do have Corsair's Accord. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, things yeah. to know. Things to know. Yeah. I was gonna say we draw another uh, Guild Gate. We only have one. Yeah. Oh man, that's some tech. That's Vern Haven? Oh man, we didn't see any of those actually. Yeah, we said no You were wanting to go for Oh my god, god. you're gruel. Uh, Thought Fire, so we take two, but he's basically doing nothing this turn besides yeah. doing two damage to us. Yeah. No, I'm drawing four cards. And we see some of the deck. That's true. I'm just saying it takes his entire turn. Yeah. Wait, does this. No, not activate. It doesn't undo triggered ability. Okay, Draw, drop him. Extra lands. Okay. So we get attack back for five and play some beef. I mean, do we attack with the Steeple Rock and the Drudge Beetle and then like Crisis Incubation it? I think we just play Corsair's Accord, then we'll have two blockers back. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. This doesn't change his clock though. I think we seriously. Oh, we can't do Corsair's Accord, never mind. Yeah, no, we can't. Um, in that case, uh. Yeah, Crisis Incubation, attack for three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, we could play Six, no. we attack, attack without the Greenside Watcher and just play our Scan Club Charger. We can play Scan Club Charger without the Green. I'm just saying oh, yeah, the Greenside Watcher. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, do we? I mean, Greenside Watcher, yes, good because it, it accelerates us technically. Yeah, we want it. We want yeah. to play, of course. You're, you're right. You're right. So, Crisis Incubation is that something that we want to hide or do we? we I say we use our Crisis Incubation put pressure on him. Yep. Why not? Um, we can also because the Scan Club Charger can just be saved as a trick anyway. That's uh, true. That's and true. Since we didn't draw a land for our cord, we'll just do an extra point of damage. Yep. I like it. Um, I like the way you think. It is a bummer um, about the uh, the gutter snipe. I mean, he can still play a couple of spells and kill us, but um, I think we have a bigger race. If he's just playing a spell a turn, then we're okay. Even two spells a turn. Yeah. Because it's not going to be able to attack. Yeah. All right. Yep. I would love a land though. That would make my day. Happy, yeah. happy. I mean, in all honesty, our opponent's probably going to think, shit, i got to play a creature. Yeah. Second exactly. crisis incubation. And that puts us our opponent down to two. two. Mm -hmm. Blast awesome. of Genius would kind of suck here. It could. Blast of Genius discarding Thought Flare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then we're dead. Yeah. That is it for you. The Out of Nowhere. Is totally it? lost. Totally lost. Yeah, we take two, but then again, we're we're doing five. Yeah, that's and again, if he's doing one a turn, two a turn, uh, two a turn. Yeah, we're, we're winning, winning that race. race. It does mean he, he's got to have some kind of outs. He can have um, explosive impact next turn, all that kind of stuff. Sure, that's fine though. Ooh, do Ooh another, another one. <laughs> Mugging. Oh, oh man. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna die. Wow. You're gonna die. <laughs> that's really funny. Okay. I mean, is it just scan clab ramp uh, scan clab charger next turn? Yeah, I think so. We I'll just have to be able up. to get pressure, right? Mm, bad should have attacked instead. Attack instead. You you can't. Yeah, attack. I'm confused. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, whatever. 
That's fine. Yep. Did we enchant his hidden screen? No, it's actually no, it's can't <laughs> enchant. <for sure. laughs> anyway, we're attacking for two. Clear attackers. Yeah, he has to play two spells next turn, but he could have a burn spell. I mean, but, I mean, we can't help that. We're we're out of that. I think we just play our scan clip charger for the most pressure, unless we play. Because this will be able side? to play something else next turn. Like we'll be able to play coursers. Can we kill him next turn with what we have in hand? Mm, attack for One, two, puts three, it down to six. It's only six if we say play greenside watcher and then uh, blood rush scan club. So that's not it. No. Um, if we draw a land next turn, so it doesn't kill him next turn. But it puts us in a better position. Yeah, but he'll be down to four. Or down to six anyway. And then we'd just be able to create the thing. Scan club charger. Scan club. What do I keep saying? Scan club. Scan club. I think everyone says scan club charger. Yeah, the scab clan charger makes sense. It rolls all the tongue easier. Man, let's see. Let's just see how many. I mean, one, two, three, four spells. If this is two spells here, whatever. He could totally have two spells or just an island fire. Power bear. Okay. Do we create this incubation that? Possibly. I think. I mean. I think we might have to. I think we have to because our we don't want him to get a whole lot more. Um, I think we just have I to, especially we since we didn't yeah. draw a land. Yeah, we just want him on the turn two clock. Um, this gets him down to three, and the more he draws, the more likely we are to die. Yeah, exactly. Because clearly our opponent's playing spells. Yeah. It didn't leave up a cancel or anything. I don't know. Yeah. Counterflux. No, counterflux requires two blue. We can combat declare attackers. Got to make sure yep. we actually attack. <laughs> And unless our opponent draws two spells, or there's two spells present. I live in fear of finality fire. But what? I mean, sure, whatever. But that's, that's going to kill us. No, anyway. we're going to die anyway. You don't play around it. I'm just saying. Yeah. You play around the fact that he could, has more draw steps to, to get his annihilating fire. All right. I mean, but there wasn't anything we could have done to necessarily advance the clock anyway. No, I agree. If we draw a land, we still have a two-turn play, or two-creature play. Yeah. Mm, yeah, we do. Okay, what we got? What do we got? I want to know! Just quit slow rolling! What are you doing? It says us who are taking forever. Dragon shift? <laughs> That's silly. Well, it deals two damage to us. Yeah, but who cares? Well, if he has another spell in hand? Yeah, that's true. No, I agree. It can totally kill us. Okay, you can't. Th I don't think this person knows that crisis incubation means you can't attack. That could be true because you didn't make that comment about yeah, um, about not attack. Oh, I should attack that turn. Now we know our opponent's got dragon. Yeah. I actually fully expected it to have drag him or her prize box to have prize dragon. Box. I our opponents. All right. Do we, I'm assuming we win. If do we just playing. win here? Yeah, I think so. I think our opponent knows. Yeah, cool. Just attack. See what happens. Yep. Yeah. Because there's no point to slow roll and wait for us to untap, because we could have something. Well, yeah, he should have. Uh, our opponent definitely should have done any other spell like, yeah. at the time. I think we have That's it here. It. Yeah, yep. I, just, I think there might have been a mistake in understanding what yep. the incubation did. Yeah, and was thinking that there could be an attack there and still. It was just uh, not activated abilities. I don't. I don't know, I don't know what else you would think it is. Uh, it's a rest. Yeah. Four, four power, or I mean, four converted mana cost a rest. Plus, it has that cool little ability where you can yeah. actually incubate your own. And in colors that don't only get a rest. Yeah, which is, I mean, that's why it cuts oh, four. Whoa. Why, why would you slow roll like that? I don't know. Super curious. What do you got? Part of me kind of wants to see it. It could just feel like I'm like trying to like psych us out. Which is fine because it makes for fun. What do you got? I mean, opponent. <laughs> what do you got? P.S. We're waiting on four mana. That's pretty good. For a deck that's supposed to be ramping into seven drops. Yeah. Well, seven drop. Seven drop. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Quite literally. Why would Seriously, you... opponent. What I are you doing? One, one mana, mana again. again. I don't know what that means. I, I, I literally don't know what that means. Uh, worst round ever. What? I, okay, I think at this point, it's just I wouldn't even glorify a response. 
<laughs> we gotta wait till he's done tapping. Well, hey, yeah. Sorry. What? <laughs> what? I like responding to people who respond. Yeah, true. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm, sometimes I'm a troll. I'm, I'm not, not a troll, lie. but like... I'm not gonna lie and be like, hey, sweet deck. But, uh, well, I mean, maybe it is. It could be, but think... No, he's playing hand strings. Like, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like, seriously. I mean, he won out of like a pretty sweet random combo of Gretchen tonight, but I didn't see like a lot of stuff. Dragon yeah, Dragon, this, and this probably isn't like, gonna be happening. I mean, yeah, often. he's playing Skullcrack, like... I mean, against most people's deck who have, like, real removal, as in, like, maybe destroy or something, like, for fun. Anyway, I'm excited for finals with this Yeah, let's, let's, let's see, see it. Yeah, let's see what the other person...